What's going on guys, it's Steve. I'm very upset. Very freaking upset about last night. First of all, I'm irritated. I told you guys the dunk contest would be absolute trash. Some of you guys told me, Steve, no, 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 Glenn Robinson the third, that other guy, they're elite dunkers, you gotta see them on YouTube. But what did I say? I don't give a damn if they're the best dunkers in the world. When you're on the stage in front of all of those celebrities, in front of 30,000 people, in front of all NBA superstars, in front of millions of people watching from home, you get nervous. They did the same exact dunks as last time. They were doing the same dunks. That that dunk that I think uh, Glenn Robinson did uh, at the end, I think that's who won. I don't remember the names. The guy who won. The dunk that he did last was the same dunk he did first. It, it was the wackest dunk contest since Gerald Wallace played in the dunk contest. What was that, 2011? From the Charlotte Bobcat. That was t just disgusting. Aaron Gordon with that drone, when he came out with that, I was like, oh, what the hell is he about to do? But you can tell that foot injury hurt him. He had no lift. He had no explosiveness. You could tell. Either that or he's just too cocky. You know, and this is what I'm saying is this is why we have to have star players in the dunk contest. Star players. I don't give a damn. Now, when I say star players, I mean players that people know who they are. Like Zach Levine, he's a star player. People know who he is. Okay. Aaron Gordon is a star player. People know who he is. Okay. Now, he's not an all-star player. He's not a superstar player. But people knew his name before the dunk contest. He's a solid role player. The same with Zach Levine. Zach Levine was a beast. 17 points. Per I mean, come on. You know, it's ridiculous. One of the worst dunk contests in NBA history. The, the whole weekend so far has been complete garbage. The celebrity game, besides A dot B dot being in there, it has been absolutely terrible. Okay, without Kevin Hart, it's boring. All Star game was terrible. I stopped watching like five minutes in. Okay, even though his James Harden impression was hilarious, best part of the weekend, which is embarrassing. Okay, the last night wasn't even sold out. I saw so many empty seats. This is All Star Weekend we're talking about, and I saw so many empty seats. The crowd was dead as hell. They're cheering. The only person they cheered for was Kyrie. Ir the only people, excuse me, that they cheered for were Kyrie Irving. Yeah, they gave him a little ovation, but Clay Thompson they went crazy for. But besides that, they gave no clout to anyone. Now, I will say this: I'm proud of UKP for winning the Skills Challenge, representing New York City, representing the Knicks. But the weekend so far has been an absolute atrocity. The three-point shootout, boring as hell. Okay? The skills challenge was boring as hell. Okay? I wanted to see the shooting stars challenge. But I'm happy they took it out because that's Chris Bosh's challenge. You know, because he wins that thing every damn year. But hopefully when he comes back next year, according to my dream, he was on the Knicks of my dream. <laughs> I dreamt about him coming to the Knicks, which is crazy. Last night, well, two nights ago. I dreamt about him coming to the Knicks. So hopefully... Two years from uh, next year, he'll be on the Knicks. Anyway, it was an absolute atrocity. The crowd was dead. I don't know what happened with NOLA, but this was a terrible dunk contest, a terrible All-Star weekend so far. I think 2008, it was in New Orleans as well, I think. You know, and I don't know what happened. It just wasn't as good as it was, man. You know, it was, it was a complete and utter embarrassment. That's exactly what it was. It was a, a complete and utter embarrassment. That's how bad it was. And I was so frustrated because I was, oh, I went fishing. You know, I, I was chilling. I was doing my thing. You know, well, first of all, I, I went and recorded my NBA journey. I came back, uploaded the video, and I was reading something. Um, I think The Art of War, I was finished reading that. I'm just reading that for myself, not for school. I love reading, um, depending on what book it is, especially historical things. Anyway, I always get sidetracked. Anyway. So my friend always texts me like, hey, you want to go fishing? I'm like, yeah. You know, I love fishing. We've gone fishing so many times. Obviously, I don't upload that to my channel because come on now, you know. But, you know, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me give me like 45 minutes. I got to do something with my car real quick and I'll go fishing. So I, I put a new exhaust on my car, right? And then we go fishing. And I'm all excited. I, I can't wait till All-Star Weekend. I'm going to go get me pizza. And this is what really messed me up. I went, I couldn't decide whether I want, I'm on a diet, so I haven't eaten fast food or pizza in like almost a month. So I'm like, oh, I'm about to have some real good food. I don't know if I want Pizza Hut or Papa John's. I should have went with Pizza Hut. I got Papa John's. I got their cheese sticks, the large cheese sticks. The, it's like a pie of cheese sticks with the, the, the pizza dip. And then I got pepper, half pepperoni, half cheese, large pie, all for myself, and a large gallon of water. The pizza was dry as hell and disgusting. 
the cheese sticks were dry as hell. <laughs> okay, there were like two cheese sticks that were really good, but besides that, it was nasty. I threw it out. I didn't even. I took. I ate two slices. I threw it out. I ate two pieces of cheese sticks and I threw it out. I was like, "What the hell is this?" So not only was the what was the All Star Weekend so far terrible, but the food was terrible. The one time that I've been planning for almost six months to break my diet. I've only been on the diet for like a month, but I've been planning to do this diet for a while. It took me a long time to really do it, to cut out pizza, because I love pizza. But when I finally start doing the diet, and I say, you know what? This is the day I'm going to break the diet just for one day. Awful. Awful. And All Star Weekend was awful. What a disgrace, man. <sighs> I'm doing the same dunks, dunking over people, whack dunks. DeAndre, I told you get the um oh my goodness. Also, Sunday night. Tonight better be better. Anyway guys, this is Steve. I'm out. Peace.